If you got a Steam Deck and an Xbox and want to stream your complete Xbox to your Steam Deck like a PlayStation Portal and don't want to pay for an app to do so, I will show you how to set it up step by step. It's ROM B360. The first thing you want to do is boot up your Xbox and once it's booted up, press the Xbox button on your controller and go to settings. From there, go to devices and connections, then to remote features and enable remote features. It will take some time for your Xbox to test the connection, but once it's done, grab your Xbox and go to desktop mode. Then open a web browser and go to this website, or use the link I have for you in the video description. Then download this file right here, which you need at least during the filming of this video. And once it's done, head over to this website, and again, I will have a link for you in the video description. Then click this right here and download this file. And once it's done, go to downloads or the place where you've downloaded the file. Right click this file and click properties. Then head over to permissions and click is executable. Then click OK. Then go down here and click on the search bar and type console with a K and then open it. Then go back to the files you've downloaded and drag this file into console. Then simply type install behind the line and press enter. Then close console, open a separate window. Go to the application folder and drag this file into the application folder. Then close both windows, go down here and search for green light. Then right click it and add it to Steam. So you can also use green light in gaming mode. Then open Steam and search for green light. Right click it and select properties. Then change the name to green light. And then go down to launch options and type this prompt, which enables green light to automatically launch in full screen mode. Then go back and click this empty banner so you can set up some artwork. Just download the artwork on the internet, then go ahead and open green light. Once you've logged in, you should be able to see your Xbox. Select your Xbox stream by pressing start stream. And you should be able to control your Xbox from desktop mode. So let's check out its performance and some settings. But before we do, let's go to gaming mode and set up the right controls. In gaming mode, press the Steam button and go to library. In your library, go to the far right and select non-Steam. Then look for green light and open it. Then press the controller icon here on the right and set up the following controls. Then go to trackpads and on the left trackpad behavior, then change the left click to N key. Then go to right trackpad and then to right click. And click on the right stick click. Then go to mouse and select left mouse click. So when you open green light and start your Xbox stream, you can now use the right trackpad as your mouse to navigate the app and the left trackpad as the Xbox button when you press it. And you should be able to use your Xbox on your Steam Deck like the PS Portal completely for free. That means you can navigate through the main menu and do exactly the same things as you would natively do on your Xbox. So you can also play your own installed games, not only Game Pass games. And as you can see, gaming works pretty decent. There isn't much stuttering and most of the time it feels like you're playing natively. Of course, this will depend on your internet connection. So if you still had a hard time setting this up and you want an easier method and don't mind to pay a one-time fee for an app that has a little bit more tweaking options just click this video right here and subscribe to the channel for more helpful content see you there